Hello everybody. There's a quick little rundown and history of my Wild Willy 2. I bought him... Jeez, I don't know how long ago. About 12 years ago. It was already pre-assembled and painted. Uh, I bought him pre-assembled and painted because it came with a battery charger and radio gear, AM radio gear, Futaba attack system and it was the same price as the model kit itself I'd previously built a Tamiya touring car Alpha 155 V6 so I figured I already had the fun in building it but anyway, <clears throat> had him for ages his arm broke off a while back and I had old glue that wasn't going to set so I set the glue on fire to set it off quicker he's lost the gear stick it just clips in so it's fallen out over after a rough and tumble there's some screws missing and loose bits on that never to mind um, Completely rebuilt him, pretty much. All the metal hardware, including shock pins, all the screws are all brand new. Drive shafts, dog bones, cups, whole new gearbox and motor. Um, I was really, really rough on him a few years back. And I broke every single one of these points the chassis rails attached to off. I cracked the tops out of the um, shock towers on the rear <coughs> and on the front. This is a new, well, it was new. It's the second excuse me, second main um, chassis set, third gearbox housing, so I stripped some uh, holes out using the wrong screws, so really the only original parts left on here is the plastic bumper, uh, this bit here that holds the U-bolt into the suspension, plastic bit which sort of needs replacing. Um, I'll just get that whole new section again. Um, and the chassis rails, that's about it. Uh, and the A arms, can't remember if they're original or if I've replaced them previously. Yeah, new springs all around suspension and the bumper bar all new electronics bought the Tamiya where is it get the focus happening TEU 105BK I bought this one because it has a BEC built in so I won't fry my servo or radio gear Radio gears, fly sky. And I've got this one here FSGT3C, orange remote. Pretty nice. A lot of settings and stuff. Three channel, run a winch, run 10 models on it. Receivers are cheap as, they're about $8 Australian. <clears throat> cheap little Futaba servo because uh, it's the same servo that came with the AM radio gear that it had <clears throat> and you know through all, all the abuse I'd put this car through I never had a problem with the servos and uh, that's about it for the chassis on the body, well it was pre-painted, 
I did have that a little bit worn there. And all these little rivet bits. I did coat them with uh, there we go, an aluminium colour. And I painted the screws, the aluminium. I repainted the wheel arches, mud guards, what do you want to call them, with a flat black. And I added the details to the fuel cell with the aluminium colour. And what else did I do? Uh, there you go. Put the detail on these bits and the winch. I repainted. <clears throat> Although he's getting a bit worn now um, body's quite expensive to replace and I have all, all the hardware for that as well here somewhere all the stuff to hold the body together <clears throat> so eventually I'm going to strip it all down clean it up and uh, give it a bit of a touch up <clears throat> I'm going to get a new driver figure which comes with the gear stick and the headlights which are broken I'm going to have to drill those posts out so there you have it I'm old Willie too, had him for about 12 years as you've seen he's up and running again a few problems along the way like adding other bands in there so the tyres don't slip because they're old and perished but it should really get some new ones I love him the inspiration to buy him was my cousin he's probably about seven years older than me he had the original Wild Willy and I loved watching him run that thing There you go. This chassis, WRO2 chassis by Tamiya. They also ran the Volkswagen Type 2 bus body. Yeah, Max 25 has one of those. There was a Suzuki Jiminy body. <clears throat> then later on they called it a WRO2G chassis. Had smaller front wheels. And there's the Farm King wheelie and a couple of other tractor type models that run on that chassis which is pretty much the same chassis small wheels at the front uh, thanks for watching and have fun guys <clears throat>